Yes, Austin Energy told us yesterday that they anticipated the lights would be back on tonight. But that is not the case. Now it's looking like the timeline is getting pushed back. Fox 7 Austin's Kelly Saberi joins us live in Mobile 7. Kelly, what's changed in this? One of the big things is that they don't know when power will be restored at this point. There's about 126,000 people who don't have power still. Take a look at some of the damage here in South Austin. The trees are down. Some of these homes don't have power still. You know, this is a big part of the problem. Austin Energy says they felt confident with their initial estimate that the power would be restored by tonight, but there were more obstacles than they planned for. As the general manager of Austin Energy described yesterday, it feels like they're taking two steps forward and three steps back. That's because as they restore power, the same circuit can get knocked out by ice and trees again. Austin Energy also says circuits may become overloaded because of lights and electronics, as well as thermostats left on before the outage. This is called cold load pickup. They say this could cause a second outage. So to help mitigate this, they're asking customers to turn off the thermostat, turn off or unplug any appliances, and finally to only leave one light on to indicate that the power is back. The mayor expressed his frustrations yesterday, saying he is without power too, and adding that a press conference should have come sooner to answer your questions given to the media, given to us, so that we could ask them for you. The mayor says city council has an oversight committee for Austin Energy to evaluate the response and that there will be an after action report later on as well. You know, if you have any downed power lines or anything of that nature, you don't want to be the one to touch it. You want to leave that to Austin Energy. It's another important reminder that they gave us yesterday. Back to you.